Om Shanti. Welcome back. We are here with 6th of September's Godly Blessing. So, Supreme Father here wants us to become like a moth, which goes to the flame, sacrifices itself in the name of the flame, and then gets liberated. So here, we'll understand the different context in which God is talking about becoming a flame for us. So God says, may you become a true moth and surrender yourself to the flame and so finish all your spinning with remembrance and services. See, throughout the day we are spinning something. Either we are spinning thoughts about the flame, that is God the Creator, the Supreme Light, or we are spinning thoughts about other lights, smaller lights, His children. That means the worldly people around us. What will happen to my child? What will happen to my brother? What will happen to my sister? What will happen to my family? What will happen to my property? What will happen to my money? What will happen to my future plans? And either you are spinning all those things, or you are spinning about God, His knowledge, and also spinning about how to serve others. So God says, the children who stay constantly busy in having remembrance and doing service are easily liberated from all types of spinning. That means they don't have any wasteful thoughts. Any doubtful thoughts also come under wasteful thoughts. If any type of spinning still remains, you will constantly continue to spin around. Yes, because you'll be getting into negative influence about thinking about something negative and then behave negatively and create a karmic negative account. Sometimes it will be a spin of relationships and sometimes a spin of your nature and sanskars. Sometimes the spin of relationships, if you have said something wrong or if you are going to take revenge from somebody, then you are going to spin around in those relationships. And sometimes the spin of your nature and sanskars. That means, <clears throat> why did I say this? I shouldn't have said something like this. Why did I do that mistake? Why did I, why did I pop it out of my mouth? Why did I speak it out of my mouth? That wasn't the right time. Oof, why did I do that? And this is what is guilt and it then makes you spin around for many days or many hours. So God says, as all such wasteful types of spinning will finish when you have no one in your intellect except the one flame, that means God the Father. Those who surrender themselves to the flame become equal to the flame. That means whatsoever is going to happen is going to happen as per you. Whatsoever you decide is going to happen, I don't know. To surrender in this way means to merge into the flame and they are true moths. So who are we? We can find out about ourselves. What kind of moth are we? Or are we even a moth or not? Or are we just a mosquito which comes around and goes, Oh, this is not my place. Let me go away. I want to still suck blood. That means you understand, right? I want to still give trouble to other people. This is not my place, Brahma Kumaris. So it's just an example. I'm not calling anybody an insect or any kind of different uh, from any kind of insect family or something like that. But it's a understood thing right so what do we want to become that's what we have to decide so this is a choice which is being given by god to us you have a choice to make right now om shanti with this